guys, this is Brittany King, LiveWorkouts.com, and if you have five minutes, join me on the ground for some ab work. Grab your weights, because here's what we're going to do first. Legs are going to be in a tabletop position. Arms are going to be overhead. We are going to bring that right leg down, and arms up overhead, and crunch it up. If you haven't joined me, make sure to be joining me by now. Now, you don't have to have a weight. Okay, it could just be your arms, and that right leg is going to go in and out. If that's too much on your back, your left leg could be on the ground, all right? You'll have about five seconds to switch to the left side. So my left leg is going to be up, right leg is going to be up, and I'm going to bring that left leg down and crunch up, all right? As I'm crunching up, I'm making sure to breathe out and that my shoulder blades are kind of coming off the ground. So it's a nice crunch right here. Like I said, that right leg can always be on the ground if that's too much pressure on your back. You really want to make sure that that lower portion of your back is on the ground. All right, here we go. Uh, fingers interlaced behind our head. We're crunching up, okay? So all we're doing is kind of cradling our neck, not pulling on it, but cradling our neck Trying to make sure we have some sort of an orange or an apple maybe in between our chest and our chin and we're crunching up. All right. Your feet can always be in a tabletop position or it can be down. Just make sure that lower portion is on the ground. Here's what we're going to do next. Both legs are out. This leg is actually going to go in with your knee or it can go up with your foot. Completely up to you on how you want to do this, okay? Now, I have my right hand. It's just resting on my head. And I'm just moving it in and out on this left side. And then we're going to switch to the right, okay? All right, so my hand is kind of behind my neck, cradling it. And we're going in and out, trying to get that elbow to the knee, a nice rotation of our abdominal muscles. Nice and slow, controlled. Make sure you're breathing. And then guess what? We're going to go back to the top. So you guys know what to do. You're going to grab your weight and meet me with your legs up in a tabletop position. Grab that weight, put it overhead, legs in a tabletop position, right leg's going to go down and we're going to crunch it up. Okay, make sure those shoulder blades are coming off the ground. As the leg goes down, it's nice and slow and controlled. You can always put that left leg down on the ground if you need a little extra support. Okay. We are going to switch to the left side. Here we go. We're going to switch to the left side. You have about five seconds. So both legs are up. Left leg goes out. Hands go out overhead and we crunch it up, okay? Make sure you're looking up at the ceiling so that your neck is not wrenched. Those abdominal muscles are in. And like I said, we are breathing. Always good to do. All right, drop that weight. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're bent at our knees. Hands are interlaced and we're just crunching up, okay? Make sure your head is just resting in your hands, that you're not pulling it. We're looking at the sky or the ceiling, wherever you're at. Our lower back is on the ground, and we're breathing as we're crunching. Try to get those shoulder blades off the ground. Okay? All right. Hand, one hand behind our neck, just resting. We're going to take that left leg and bring it in, like a bicycle, in and out. Okay. Now this left hand of mine is just kind of supporting myself, not actually pushing myself up. I'm just trying to get that rotation so my elbow touches my knee. Nice and slow and controlled on the way down. Make sure your lower back is against the ground. All right. Other side here in about five seconds. Wait for the ding. And here we go. All right. This is it. Your abs are on fire, but you guys can do it. I know you can. So stick with me here, okay? 
make sure you're breathing while you're doing it. Please don't, make sure you're not wrenching that neck, okay? Just resting that head on that hand. Hey, guess what? Your five minutes is done. You just did five minutes of ab work. Congratulations. You are done. And hey, give yourself a pat on the back for taking some time out for yourself. And make sure to join me on my next workout video. And please, please, please visit my website at BrittanyKingLiveWorkouts.com. And maybe you can join me for one of my live workouts. See you next time.